tonight, Atlanta is remembering drag queen icon and pioneer Mr. Charlie Brown. She died Thursday due to heart replacement surgery complications. We went to Atlanta Eagle, the last place where she performed. 11 Alive's photojournalist Nicholas DiVaccaro has more on the impact she leaves on the community. When you hear the name Charlie Brown, you usually think about the Peanuts character. But for the LGBTQ community of Atlanta, they think of someone else. The drag scene has always been here, but Charlie has been a part of it for so long, you'd almost thought she started it. Mr. Charlie Brown was an icon in Atlanta's drag community for nearly 50 years, starting his career back at the Sweet Gumball Head nightclub in 1974. Since then, Brown has helped and inspired many people like local drag queen Maya Ross Monroe. When Charlie saw talent, she was one of those people who didn't mind telling you you had talent, and she was a guiding light for most of us in this industry. Even off the stage, Brown would be a massive advocate for helping everyone they could. She did a lot for the AIDS organization back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. She, did, she raised tons and tons of money for the AIDS back when it was, you know, hit hot and heavy within the city. Anthony Bazaar Fain was Brown's manager. He says she loved everyone and went out of her way to inspire others. She loved to mentor people. Um, she was just all around a good person. With the inspiring and helpful nature of Brown, Richard Ramey, the owner of the Atlanta Eagle, wants people to remember the most important advice she has to pass on to the continuing struggles of the LGBTQ community. Almost at the end of every show, he would tell you, get out and register, get out and vote. We can't make any difference if we don't vote. But the one thing that everyone at Atlanta Eagle has to say about Brown was this. Charlie was simply the best. And she is simply the best. Charlie was simply the best. Charlie Brown's memoir will be released this December for her 75th birthday.